Hello, my name is Quadrian. SKS. It is one of the worst guns in Servarium. Even though it's still better than Sock Carbine, there is hardly any difference. This tier 2 for in Settlers Carbine is a piece of shit, only useful for one thing. Headshots, headshots, and more headshots. Its damage of 75 may kill tier 5 heavies in 3 shots, which is not that much since the fire rate of 330 is amazing if accurately fired, killing a foe before he even notices you. Most of the time this does not happen though, which means you will be enraged and probably spill your Vassar Juice class just like I did, obviously if you have one. The best and most of the time only way is to kill anyone with headshots, killing every single target even if having a Max Zuber Ultra head be set on. Remember that this does not apply to a target that is outside the 85 meter distance. The magazine size of 10 is bad, very bad actually. Even though the animation for reloading is amazing, you will go through the whole magazine really quickly and you'll have to reload every single time, which is not good because the reload is batshit crazy, being 3.7 seconds. The SKS even has a small bleed chance of 15%, which didn't happen to me in 4 matches I played and only in the 5th match once. For the enemies in cover you can't really do much but wait since the material penetration is set to brick, which is quite crappy. You may play with the scope or a collimator with the recoil being very low at both. The bad point of this gun is that you shoot too fast, with this I mean it will not go back to the same position before you shoot again, it will rather just go up, up and more up. One of the most amazing and fun things with the SKS is the hipfire, it is extremely satisfying and nice, but quite Hard as well. There is two play styles I recommend you to play like if you want to score averagely. You will not score better with this gun unless you are a terminator or something. The first one, long distance and scoped. It is a standard sniper procedure, camp down at your favorite spot and, very importantly, aim for the heads. This way you will get quite a lot of kills and die rarely, but if you want to, you can easily just run around even with a scope. I also recommend you to have a muzzle with as much negative unmasking radius as possible possible, which will not make you visible on the minimap. The second way goes like this, run around with a collimator or none and aim for the heads. You will have to be extremely precise and quick though, so don't think it's that easy. You can also set up traps and lead people in them, just don't forget that the slowdown is only 4%, which makes you very fast. Oh yeah, and the attachments. Well. It really depends on your playstyle, I recommend you to experiment but I myself would take a 3.6 scope and a muzzle with as much negative unmasking as possible. For the 3 upgrades I recommend you to take more distance or damage, faster reloading and less recoil or better penetration. That's it, to sum everything up, this gun is the best to get headshots with, but it's a pain to use in any other way, it is easily outmatched with every single gun there is, I bet even Winchester would beat it if it were still in the game. That's it, thank you for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe, and I'm out. Bye guys.